Hello everyone, it's Sunday, February 5th, 2023. Welcome to today's broadcast. It's going to be a short one, but I want to start off by saying please continue to keep people in your prayers who are living in the northern U.S. I do believe that the Lord speaks through the weather, don't you? And it's almost as though the people up in the northeastern U.S. were in a cold weather lockdown. Yes, think about that. You know, you can have a, a cold weather lockdown because weather weapons are being used in, in today's age and people were locked down in their homes. Mount Washington Observatory sees record wind chill of minus 108 degrees Fahrenheit, adding to its extreme weather reputation. Many areas in the northeastern U.S. had wind chills between negative 30 and negative 50 below zero. Now, whenever the temps drastically go that low and there are motorists on the roads, especially those semi-truck drivers, fatalities can stack up pretty quickly. So we want to impress the need for prayers over people on the roads. And, uh, you know, one icy encounter can take away someone's life in a moment. Now, yesterday, about 15 million people in the U.S. were under wind chill alerts, but that number dropped to 1 million by midday as the extreme cold temperatures began to wrap up. The majority of the remaining wind chill alerts ended yesterday. Temperatures began to stabilize, and then the winds died down. Praise the Lord. Well, I want to talk about the nefarious Chinese surveillance balloon again today. This morning, the Holy Spirit, he reminded me of a map that I had printed out several years ago, and I had placed it in my Bible, a map of the 2017 Great American Solar Eclipse. And he reminded me of the, the signs or the signals in the heavens of the judgments coming to the USA. Now, what was interesting is that the path of the 2017 Great Solar Eclipse has a striking similarity to the path of the Chinese balloon. Now, one of our F-22 Raptor fighters did safely shoot down the balloon off the South Carolina coast. President Biden ordered the action on Wednesday, but it was delayed until the balloon was over water to ensure no Americans uh, on the ground were harmed. Now, I just want to bring to your attention, and I do pray myself that there is no correlation whatsoever, but it's just an idea. You know, if you have read about the Operation Dark Winter Bioattack Drill or simulation conducted back in 2001, you may be able to telegraph some of those potential plots against the Americans. And then this balloon, which actually, it's not a first-time occurrence. It will get your attention. Operation Dark Winter was a senior-level bioterrorist attack simulation of the widespread of a widespread smallpox attack on the U USA. The objective was focused on evaluating the inadequacies of a national emergency response during the use of a bioweapon against the American people. Now, there are numerous papers written on the conclusions of the dark winter exercise. Now, what if that Chinese weather balloon or surveillance balloon or whatever the propagandists are calling it today had more than cameras on it? What if there were contagions aboard that weather balloon such as smallpox or cholera or you name it, any kind of contagion? And what about a more deadly, uh, resistant, deadly flu? You know, I'm just saying that anything is possible when your government is working to bring in a global government and they have to obey the beast and his system. Again, friends, this is just a speculation. So, you know, be prepared is what I'm saying on any given day, anything that the globalists want to do to surgically take out our nation can be accomplished if the Lord allows it. See, all judgments have to receive approval from God ultimately. He is the one on the throne. So be ready to go home every day of your lives. Always live in a right relationship 
with Jesus. Now there will be another solar eclipse over the USA in 2024. That would be on April the 8th, which will create a big fat X pattern on the US map when combining the path of the previous solar eclipse. And I say X marks the spot. America's judgment is underway and our days are numbered. So these two solar eclipses are about seven years apart. So choose this day whom you will serve and place all of your hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. We'll be back again uh, later to bring other developing news. Have a good afternoon.